and we're back uh, playing Ark Survival Evolved, and we've got some plans for today. So first, before we even get started here, I want to say hello. Hope you're all having a great day there. I'm having a great day playing some Ark, and um, got some, like I said, as got some plans for today. I'm uh, going to be hatching some more eggs, and um, yes, yeah, so it's going to be a fun time. Do want to say, as always, thank you for checking out the videos here, and thank you for all of your support. Uh, with the ARC videos and with the uh, new Fallout 4 stuff. And um, if you do like the video here, don't forget to tick that like button. And if you haven't already and want to check out other stuff on the channel, don't forget to tick that subscribe button as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump right in here. And I'm going to grab a couple of Quetzal eggs. Okay. And let's see, which ones are the best? So it's 176. So I think Freya might have been the perfect tame. So I think we're going to hatch. Let's go ahead and just do one RG for now. And then what I'm going to do is after I get these down, let's go ahead and drop that one there. And incubating. And drop that one there. Incubating. And drop that one there. And incubating. Alright, so I'm going to head out on the new bird, Arwing, because it was the highest level born one uh, so far. So I'm going to head out on this to level it a bit and get some meat, um, because we only have one trough in here now. <laughs> so that's... Oh, whoop, no, got to open a little bit further. Um, so we're going to get some meat, and come on, get out of the door! <laughs> this is getting annoying. Okay. There we go. Now close the door. All right. Um, so we're going to get a couple more Quetzals, see if they come out higher level than their parents there. Um, or see if we get, like, maybe we'll get twins or something again. Um, and then the wall here is almost done. So I'm actually replacing, because from something that I was told, I'm replacing the uh, tops first, because that's apparently, like, if another Giga attacks, that's what they go for first. Um, like they attack the top layer, so we should hopefully be okay in, with all the stone foundations. <laughs> um, who knows for sure, though? Um, right, whoops, let's get uh, spyglass. Put that back on there. Alright, and then yeah, we're gonna head out here on our wing and um, kill some stuff. So. Um, once we've got some food and we can see the eggs are coming along a little bit better there, we will be right back. And we're back, and um, apparently the RG um, was born while I was away. Um, and I got back here just in time. It took a whole, like, 17 meat um, there. Like, wow, I didn't, was not expecting that, and holy crap, it's a 192 female. Um, wow. Dude, it's, um, Tony, it's 192, <laughs> the, the RG, uh, or, wait, I don't even know if I mentioned it to you before I started recording, um, so the RG hatched, and I got back here while it was still, like, a little after it did, it was down to, like, under 200 health. <laughs> Holy crap. Jeez. Um, but yeah, dude, 192, holy, like, sheesh. Um... That is a high-level bird. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I think it, it, it can't be the level that they tamed out at then, because its parents were like... Um, I think Freya was like 220 and then the, or something. There's a glitch where you can get like a level 1,000 bird through breeding. Like, it's an impossible level, yet it still can be done. But, um, yeah, so that's cool. Got, a, like, a freaking super bird now. I'm gonna have to level this thing now. And dang it, I'm running out of names for all my females. <laughs> um, okay, it looks like the Quetzal is down... Or the two Quetzals are down about 20%, I want to say. So still got a little time on them, but, okay, I gotta be more mindful all with right, the, uh... Alright, I have most of my materials loaded onto the bird. I'm just making cementing paste now. Alright, sweet. Yes, so uh, Tony's working on getting the stuff for an industrial forge. Um, 
and we're gonna get that situated here in a little bit but I gotta make sure that this little baby is taken care of I just just came back from the meat run so um, I'm gonna get this kinda going here I'm gonna get a note made or it's I need some fiber um, so I'm gonna get a note made to put on it here for to keep track of its stats and then I'm just gonna have to be a little careful with the uh, with doing meat runs at this point because I wasn't expecting it to be hatched already. I'm probably going to have to start taking Argita out because she'll get a lot more meat and that because that's what I'm going to need right now. So um, yeah, so we'll be taking care of this little baby here when like, holy crap, 192. That is just awesome. Um, so we're taking care of the little baby here. I'll have to figure out a name for it. Um, and... Yeah, we will be our, uh, be right back. <laughs> Come on, little birdie. And we're back. And I went ahead and, you know, I had Argita. Decided to name this one after her. Um, but uh, so much more powerful, you know, level-wise and everything, that uh, 2.0 just isn't good enough. So we've got Argita 3.0 right here. Uh, so he's already gotten up to juvenile, so he's eaten off the trough, so I'm going to need to be doing a lot more uh, meat runs there. But um, I took the note off of our wing, so we can compare. Um, so looking at almost the 500 difference in health. Uh, stamina's the same. O2, wh whatever, food, whatever. Um, weight's a little bit higher, and then damage is the same, and same as movement. Um, so that's kind of a like this bird's gonna be freaking awesome man um or peeps whatever um <laughs> so just gonna throw that here and then i think we've got the stuff to make the industrial forge so we're gonna head over and do that and okay, yeah we should be pretty good here for a little bit okay good so she hasn't quite eaten the whole stack and, and uh, also this is a freaking female man we can tame it Whoop, wrong button we can we can breed it with other like with, we just need a high level male now like I actually kind of want a male for once because now we've got this super high female um, do the gun trick there we go oh, whoop. No, that's not what I wanted there we go so we've got a bunch of these things so once I'm able to go out into the water um, come on there we go. Um, we'll be able to get an angler fish like real easily with the kibble. Um, let's just take a look here. So she's doing real good. A little bit more than 10%, like kind of just recently hit it. And all right. Hey, Tony, you said you're uh, ready to go, right? Indeed. Um, are we over at the stone tower? Yes. All right. Everything so is loaded in and ready to go. Great, so we're just going to run over there. I'll just keep rolling here. All right, just so you know, I am recording. <laughs> and I'm heading yeah, over I now. I figured that. Yeah, I'm just going to keep rolling since I've run so fast. I'm just you. here be eh, nah, filling nah. rag with all the garbage from my inventory. Um, don't do that. <laughs> Yesterday I put a bunch of berries in him. Most of them are gone already. And oh, whoops. <laughs> Fabricator, not Smithy. Alright, we've got the gas on there. Alright. Um, I'm gonna move oh good, you already moved the uh organic polymer up above the regular stuff. Yeah. That's good. Because, um, because what happens is it uses whatever's in there first. So we want to use up the stuff that's going to disintegrate. <laughs> and let's see, forge. So um, I actually can make this. So I'm letting everybody know here real quick, Tony. I can actually make this because we made some mind wipe tonics. So it resets your level and everything. And let's see, 510, 359. Are you, are, you, are you kidding me? Oh. I got like 25 Sweet. XP from that. Wow. Um, wow, <laughs> game. 
stupid. But cool, we got the industrial forge. We'll uh, pop that down later. It's pretty big, so we're going to be moving up to the mountain and putting it uh, up on the volcano um, to replace all the forges there. I don't remember. I don't remember if I've I done a video where I've gone up there yet. Like, it's probably the equivalent of like two times the amount of smithies up there, including Morgans. Yeah, well, because those hold, let's see, I think it's like eight or ten. Eight? Yeah, eight. And, oh, let's get this gunpowder going. And plus, that thing is really freaking fast, according to the wiki that it is. So I'll start heading to the volcano, because my bird is right, slower. Cool. Um, well, I still need to do some meat runs, because those quetzals are going to hatch soon. Oh, yeah, I think I have some meat. I th crap ton of meat from the penguins on my bird. I'll head over there, fill them up. Okay, cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we'll be back up on the mountain placing that uh, awesome new uh, toy. So we'll be right back. And we're back. And we've got a couple of quetzal eggs about to hatch. We were joking earlier, but really not be funny. Watch us get uh, triplets out of both eggs. <laughs> be frantic like the like the last time, trying to keep them fed. <laughs> and okay, so looks like I got two levels in Queen Victoria and a bunch on that guy. 147, that's a bit better. And that's a female. Nice. We need that. The 120. Eh, kind of mediocre there, but another female. Right. And there we go. Uh, no twins or triplets, but one came out at 147, the other one's 120, so a little lackluster compared to the others on that one, but they're both female, so that gives us more that we can breed. And so we're just going to be babysitting these things for a little bit here. I'm going to start trying to lead them out, um, and then um, when we come back, we'll have we'll be up on the, the volcano there, so I just got to, it's going to be a little while though, because we want to make sure that these, these two are good to go before I leave them um, to head up there, because while it's not far, it's, you know, far enough um, that bad things could happen to the babies. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it gives us two more females that we can breed, which is kind of nice. What's funny is, like, I actually want to get a male Argy. Um, let's see, can I not get that to move? Alright, I can get it a little bit more. Um, we, we need a really high level male Argy, because we've been getting a lot of females, and the males that we've gotten just haven't been that high level. Hello, come on. Man, some of this stuff. Right, you. Over here. And right, over here. Alright, I think that might be all the hatching I'll do for now. Um, maybe we'll do one of the Tranodon eggs? to see if we can get like a really high level pteranodon. There we go. Okay, and disable wandering. And unfollow. Alright, so just sticking around here. Got all our little babies coming along now nicely. And uh, we'll be right back. And we're back up on top of the volcano here. Don't you point that gun at me? Um, Can you hear the clicking? Um, of your mouse, yeah, but not, I don't think on the gun. Dang it. Yeah, don't hear anything. Um, so we're back up, we're up on the uh, top of the volcano here, and we are, um, we got a lot of work to do. So we're actually going to get rid of all of this. 
and we're going to rebuild something brand new to put the uh, industrial forge on as well as another uh, little surprise so I think um, what do you think Tony think it's uh, time for a speed build I think it's time for a speed Yay, build destruction. Well, well I guess speed tear down and speed build sound good yeah Let's do it. <laughs>everything built up here and placed um, really cool setup here um, now I'd found somewhere else the um, I guess the math behind it all so it looks like one gas will last for 15 minutes in here which will make 675 metal ingots so uh, which takes 1350 metal so we're gonna come over here and real quick gonna grab or so we've already got <coughs> Uh, so I've got a couple of boxes of spark powder here for the wall torches, which I think look really cool. Um, and we'll come over here. I've got one gas in here. I'm going to kind of test it out. So I filled the whole thing up with metal um, already. And we're going to turn it on. And so it should be 20 seconds. And okay. About halfway there. Okay, yeah, so right around 20 seconds there. I wasn't counting super good, well, but... Um, and you get 15 metal at a time. And so I'm going to see if this actually puts out the 13... Or the 675. Because uh, if you remember with the spark powder, I had to kind of get a little... Um, I guess you could say creative. And oh, wow, this thing lights up the place. Let's come over. Wait, what? What's... What's this? Who... Who put this here? Where did this fault come from? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, so I've got uh, some gas here, got some refined metal, um, obsidian, and then, of course, like any extra metal that you have, you can throw here. Um, <laughs> we've got the uh, smithy here, and this is going to have, uh, you know, so leaving some stuff in here for people, like if they need to repair armor and stuff. I'm going to throw that little bit of chitin I've got and crystal in. Um, and then a couple of. 
these guys and so both of those large storage boxes over there actually have all spark powder um, let me bring my HUD back um, but I'm gonna make up another 2400 anyway <laughs> Um, that way we just have tons and tons to go around. Um, pretty much the spark powder is only going to be used for um, these guys now. I really like how they look. And this thing is just looks freaking awesome. And oh, whoops, sorry, got a little weird freeze thing there for a moment. Um, and let's come out here. Let's actually move this. Um, I'm going to get screenshot all right no no can't see it too well let's come in closer here uh, where's my gamma at it's uh, okay it's at three I don't want to up it too much more um, so we'll get you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of the HUD I'll just take the screenshot like this um, actually hmm I need, I would need a light source in front of it to be able to see the front real well so I'm going to wait till daytime actually to take my screenshot and then um, but I will show you this real quick so I figured if people fly up here this way they can land here and whoop, I just realized thing. I'm thirsty so here we go this is going to give a little bit more space here people landing. So I'm not going to build it out all the way around. So then they can just kind of run down this way um, off their mount and so then they're not like they're not having to navigate around their mounts while they're doing stuff here. Um, got all the Ankies here, moved the feeding trough to this spot. Um, so just did a whole bunch of stuff and I think I might put let's take for sanding torch so I just need a single stone. Um, have some? No, you don't. Um, I think there's some in here. No. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll figure that out. I think I'm going to put a standing torch here so if it's dark, people can see the sign. Um, and I'll see how it looks putting some up on top and maybe one here and here, but I don't know. I kind of like letting it just sit there. So, um, I hope you all you know enjoyed this here. Um, I think we might have uh, just a little bit more to do today. Sorry, I'm just like keep running around because it's just so freaking cool. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll we'll uh, kind of wrap things up with the next little segment and check it out. I can jump on top of this one without getting all burned like with the other forges. <laughs> um, but we repa replaced everything here. And yeah, let's check this progress so far already got 195 metals so that's pretty dang crazy um, and there comes a drop so I'll go check that thing out and then we will um, come back and kind of finish things off for today so we will be right back we're back and just doing a quick check in here and it looks like the uh, I'm gonna bring my HUD back it just kills my frames um, got uh, our Gita 3.0 ready to go and I just I took a saddle off one of the other birds to like, get her out of here and looks like the meat is still doing pretty darn good um, and then the two Quetzals are juvenile so I moved everything that was on them or the HUD to get a little bit better frames again so they're both juveniles now um, 320 so they're about a quarter of the way there and the meat's doing good um, so just wanted to give a quick little update on these fellas they're going to still be going well into the night, and we'll all be right back. And we're back, and I'm wanting to test something out. So it takes three oil and five hide to make one gas, or to make five gas, actually. So, okay, it looks like, it. let me put it in here. And you normally would do this in a regular forge. I'm looking to see if it will do... If it'll turn this into gas, um, I don't remember how long that takes. So if it takes super long here, I I might just uh, like I'll, I'll maybe speed up the conversion thing. 
Um, but I'm going to give it like a, a couple of minutes, but I, I'm pretty sure it goes pretty... Oh, wow. Never mind. <laughs> um, it works. Yeah, so Tony, it works. Um, I just got, I just made five gas in here. Nice. Um, yeah, so it looks like we did, I did the math, and if this thing is full... It should take 30 seconds to make 75 gas, according to the wiki. Um, I don't know about that, because it made this five in like, I don't know, 10 to 20 seconds. Well, you only put the enough materials for the... 10 or for the five in there well, that's a good point let's um let's grab some more let's try it with some you already have some on you i have some in here okay uh cool put um 100 oil and 300 hide because that'll that'll give I uh do not want, I, oh, wait I no no sorry that's not oil. wait no that's not right um wait it's 300 oil and 500 hide whoops <laughs> how much do you have i only have 68 oil Okay, um, we need more. I've got more on my bird. If you want to test that theory, that is. All right. So how much hide? Um, I've I've actually got all I need. Just give me your uh, put your oil on my bird. Did not mean right. to actually get on the quetzal. <laughs> So we're going to see here how this works. Alright, so I've got 300 oil and 500 hide. So that would give us 500 gas. <laughs> That's a lot of gas. Okay, there we go. So it took some of the metal off. And, um... Just in case you're wondering, the number of metal here, Tony accidentally turned the forge off. And um, so I had to restart and the now math. We're at the point in the game where we can go and fill Hope's house entirely of iron. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did that once already. No, I didn't place um, chests everywhere. Okay. I just filled the chests that were there. Alright, yeah, it made 75. Like, holy man. Um, I mean, I still oh, might, yeah. I'll still probably use the forges down in my base because that's, um, because then I can burn wood, you know, like with it, so, um, yeah, this but, is, yeah. this doesn't look like something you'd have in your personal base. All right. This is more like mining site. Um, yeah, I mean, this is something that, like, on a PV... Uh, PvP server, like you'd have to have it in your own base, and it would, it would be kind of a beast to make it. But um, yeah, wow. So I'm sure in a PvP um, server, this would probably be impossible. Yeah, so I'm getting all. I'm taking all of this gas out as it's being made because that way it doesn't get used. Um, but it'll burn through yeah, all of it. Yeah. It'll it'll make it before that 15 minutes is up by a long shot. So, um, and I'm just gonna, like, so I, I did the math with, uh, Tony here just a little bit ago, and I think six gas would cook this entire thing. So if you put, um, or, oh yeah, it definitely would, because if you actually have more than one, it would, yeah, because I was thinking, if you put one in, you could put another gas, you could put another metal, or another stack of metal, but you'd have to have... But you can only do 39 stacks if you put the gas in there. So, yeah, so si six gas will burn, will cook the entire thing of metal. Definitely worth the cost for this thing. Um, on our server, like yeah. Three hours. Yeah, for, for sure. Like three hours getting the materials for this. Worth it. All right, well, yeah, so we're going to uh, cut it again here, and then um, I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to get my screenshot and everything, um, and we'll uh, finish up for the day here. So thanks for sticking around, everybody, and um, we will be back once all of this stuff is done. <laughs> You're back. And we're back as I think fog is moving in. 
Maybe that's just clouds up this high. Um, so it finished, uh, it shut itself off here. And with the 200 that I took out before to get all the oil and stuff in there to test it, um, looks like it came out to only 660. So it's the same thing as with the regular forges and the spark powder. Um, one just doesn't quite, it doesn't quite get it there. So mathematically it should be 675 if you just look at the sheer numbers. Um, but w in practice it does not actually come out there. Now from uh, with the math that I did there is actually showing about with a full so all 40 slots with metal um, you'd be looking at I think it was um, 5.9 um, gas um, being needed and so since you, since putting multiple gas would then take up one of the slots uh, you're then looking at um, you know even less I'd have to crunch the numbers to look at it. So so six gas will cook the entire thing. So I'm going to change my little sign over here um, and get all this metal moved over. Um, the other cool thing about all of this is like with the vault right here, you can just write an Anki right up to it and just throw whatever you want in, like throw all the metal in there and then hop off, come here, grab all the metal, throw it in here and then get it started. But so I'm going to do, let's change this here gas equals 660 or er, one gas lasts about 15 minutes equals 660 ingots 1350 metal and I wish there was a way to put like breaks in here uh, just to make sure it goes on to the next line and um, let's just do that. Um, six gas will smelt entire um, smelt everything when full. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna get this thing loaded all the way up to just so we can have a full thing and see it all come out there, uh, which would be, so 3,900, which uh, the six forges that I had before would do 3,600, but this will do it a lot faster. And we worked out the math as well uh, for this as well. Sorry, I like numbers. Um, and so you're looking at a full stack of gas would last over four days. Um, because about, uh, with going for about 15 minutes, you're looking at one gas or four gas every hour, which would be, um, you know, about, wait, no, sorry, hundred gas would be a day. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah. It'd be a, uh, one day in one hour. Uh, so 25 hours. Yeah. Duh. Sorry. <laughs> Messed that up there is four. Yeah, then four, two, five, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we're going to wrap things up here today. Um, hope you enjoyed the, the build. Um, it was really fun for me to make. Um, I like that little ramp in the back so we have a place to park our birds. Um, I left them down here for now because that's just where they are already, so it's just easier. But uh, I do want to say you know, thanks, as always, for checking things out here. Again, hope you had a good time. I had a great time putting all of this together. Um, getting the stuff, like just getting the materials and everything was kind of insane. Um, but I love how this thing looks. I'm actually just gonna, like, you know, forget it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fire it up because I like how it looks. Um, and then we can work out everything out later. So get that going in the background. Um, again, if you like the, if you did like the video, don't forget to tick that like button. And if you want to check out other stuff on the channel and haven't already, don't forget to tick that subscribe button as well. Um, and don't forget to check out um, anybody uh, who's I've got linked down there because I've got the Twitch for uh, Rag and Hope. And um, I think Rag said that he's going to be starting doing some YouTube and he gave me the channel, but I couldn't find it. So I'm going to see if I can get a link from him, and then I'll start putting that into the. the uh, um, description for my videos so you guys can check that you know check out whatever he's doing there as well um and y'all have a good one don't forget there is no irl just afks peace out